So I'm completely new to the home buying process. Just curious how much is required for a down payment on a house? Minimum down payment is 5% of the purchase price of the value of your home. You can have that as saved funds. Uh, it can be borrowed through a loan, for example. It can be a gift from a family member. And I, you know, if you have those options available, if you don't have the money saved, uh, certainly explore that option with your lender about the borrowed down payment program uh, or a gift from a family member. And the reason I say that, uh, it could get you into a home sooner uh, and get you out of paying rent and, and starting building equity. How do I know uh, what sort of house that I'm able to buy? Like what, how do I, how am I able to determine my range essentially? Sure. Um, actually, it's, it's, it really comes down to math. Uh, what the lender would do is sit with you and gather information as far as your income and your expenses. And really what it boils down to is what we call a debt ratio. So there are maximums here in Canada as far as that goes. And it just uh, basically is your gross, your payments divided by your gross income. Uh, and the debt ratio we're looking for, a, you know, under a 40% maximum. How do I pay off my mortgage a little faster? Well, that's a good question. Um, really, you can take your monthly payment and switch it to an accelerated by weekly payment. What you're doing is taking that monthly payment, cutting it in half, and making um, that payment every other week, and so that you're actually making 26 payments by the end of the year. Uh, my husband and I are looking at uh, doing some home renovations to our new house. Uh, what uh, options are available to us? So you've already purchased your home, you've moved in, you want to do some renovations and if you need to borrow uh, to pay for your renovations just talk to your lender and you can look at getting a line of credit or a loan to pay for those renovations. The best thing about these renovations is they're going to increase the value of your home which is actually going to increase the equity you have in your home and if you want to at some point look into refinancing those renovation costs into your mortgage, you can up to 80% of the current value of your home.